Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this is my grocery haul this week. I told you last week for my grocery haul that I wouldn't be doing a meal plan because this is the week of my vacay. So I'm going to the beach this week with my ladies here on YouTube and I was just trying to get things to satisfy the boys while I'm gone. No like stress, easy to just pop in the oven and eat type of thing. So that's why it looks like this. I don't buy this stuff. If you watch my grocery hauls, you know I don't buy a lot of these things often. But since I'm going to be gone for four days, you know, what do you guys do without their wives and their mommies? I swear. So no meal plan because there's not really any meals to share except for some of the things I'm going to be making on our beach trip over here. But let's get into what I picked up for my actual grocery haul this week. So I have a gallon of milk. Y'all know it's million dollar here. Um, I already have one that I picked up from Sam's, which is a little bit cheaper, but I know that I would need another one while I'm gone for the boys. 100% juice apple punch. I actually just bought some apple juice 100% from Sam's as well. We have one of those left, so this should be fine while I'm gone. Got some bananas for Waylon. Y'all, when he goes into the grocery store, you know how most kids pick out candy? My kid picks out bananas. Like, he is obsessed with bananas. It is crazy, and I can't complain because I'd rather him pick up a banana versus a candy bar any day, but I just think that's kind of funny. Then I got two of the 100% juice berry and the fruit punch kind, one to send to therapy for Trey, and then one to keep here for the boys so Lonnie doesn't have to worry about even pouring them juice. He can just give them a juice pouch, trying to make things as easy as possible for him as that is possible. It's ridiculous. Then this was a substitution. I always like to get the light cherry yogurt for Trey. He likes that one better actually, but they substituted it for the original, which is fine because he'll still eat it, but he does prefer the light over the original, which I know is kind of weird. I picked up a pound of ground meat. This is the Honey Turkey by Sarah Lee. Um, this is for the hubby to make sandwiches for himself. If he doesn't feel like doing anything else, he can make him a sandwich, him and Waylon. Trey doesn't eat lunch meat, but that's for my hubby mainly. Then for the boys, and y'all know I pick these up periodically, but Trey and Waylon both love these pizzas. And I bought the ones from Sam, the actual Lunchable brand, and they're a lot better, I have to say. They're a little bit more expensive, but they have more like pepperoni. The pepperoni's better quality, and they have more like little pizza discs. But I got these. These are just a dollar by Armor um, to have because a lot of times, Waylon is a snacker all day. He doesn't eat meals. And depending on what I cook, he would rather eat something like this. And he doesn't even eat the whole thing. Like that kid, I don't know what he runs off of because he just snacks like a little bit here and there, but he doesn't eat like a bunch. I don't know. Unless it's like pizza from a restaurant, then he's like tearing it up. But his favorite food is pizza by far. Then Trey needed some more jelly to go for his peanut butter and jelly. And I actually just got my brandless order. I'm going to be posting that this Friday instead of Foodie Friday since I'll be on vacation. So if y'all are interested in brandless, guys, I will link it down below in this video as well. It's all like non-GMO, gluten-free. And I know so many of y'all need the gluten-free. That's why I really was looking into it and making that video. Um, in organic products for three dollars or less so if you want to check out brandless i'll have it down below you get six dollars off your first first purchase and i have a video showing you what i hauled on friday too so he eats a pb and j every um day why i said that is because i bought some organic peanut butter off brandless so we're going to try that out then i haven't bought egos in forever but my hubby loves blueberry waffles and again for I don't know. I don't even know if he's going to eat these while I'm gone, but I know he likes these and he might just eat this for dinner instead of doing anything else. I just wanted to have it on hand. Then Trey eats the 100% juice diced pears. He loves these for his lunches. I got two of those. <laughs> the cheese dip. Y'all were like, where's the cheese dip last week? I went in store and got it because I used those coupons. I got this in the grocery order. I didn't use any coupons this time, but I got four. And this was another substitution because they did. I usually get the mild. He likes a little spicier kind better, but all they had was the regular, which he'll eat this anyway. And guys, this was like $20 for four. It's ridiculous, but this is like mainly what the kid eats. <laughs> and y'all know with his sensory and his autism, it's like whatever I can get in him, whatever. So I got four of them because I don't want the hubby to have to stop. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to make things as easy as possible for him. Like why, why am I doing that? Like I'm trying to be a good wife, but I mean, I go out of my way to pick up this stuff. He could do it too, right? The struggle's so real. I got a loaf of bread, 88 cents for the wheat or the whole wheat. And Trey prefers the, the white bread. 
Then I got them a pizza since Waylon loves pizza. I know he's going to love this. Myself and my hubby loves these pizzas from Walmart. It was like $7 for this huge pizza, and it's awesome. These things are so good, and they have like a million different varieties, and I wanted to pick one up for him to eat probably Monday night, the first night I'm gone, and Waylon will tear into this. And Trey likes pizza too, so this is a win-win for all the boys, so I picked that up. Y'all know Trey loves him some Doritos, and I've only been buying like one bag a week, and it's been lasting us because he prefers the queso over Doritos, even though y'all know these are his jam. But I went ahead and picked up another one, and I'm loving the um, Jurassic World stuff on it. I can't wait to see that movie when we get back from vacation. The hubby and I want to go see that. Then this was another substitution. Y'all know I usually get the big size of these, the big bag, but they were out. So what they did is they just subbed two little bags, which is the same size and for the same price. Y'all know, guys, when anytime they sub something, if they sub it for something that is more expensive, you still pay the cheaper price, which is what one thing that I love about Walmart online grocery order. Then I bought a Stouffer's Classic Meat Lovers lasagna, large family size. I got this for the boys, too, so Lonnie can just pop this in the oven and eat this with some garlic bread so I got the garlic Texas toast and that can be a meal for them and this would be a meal for us for like a couple of nights y'all know we love our leftovers and I usually buy like the big party size of this if I ever buy this and this stuff is so good I know it's not great for you because I mean look at the sodium content no no but to have every once in a while or to have for like a party or a gathering this is like a really good option however this was like ten dollars and some change they have the big party size one and the great value for ten dollars but i do think the stouffer's is a little bit better um but they're very very comparable so um if you want to try the great value kind it's still good but i think the stouffer's just tops it a little bit now that's everything i got for the boys all right for when i'm gone so you know like junk like this is ridiculous y'all know i don't like feed them junk all the time like as far as this kind of stuff i make all of our dinners and our meal plan but I wanted it to be convenient and easy for them while I'm gone. Now, this stuff here is stuff that I needed for my beach trip. However, this is not everything that I need for the trip. I am going to be stopping at a Walmart in Gulf Shores. That's where we're going on our trip and buying most of my cold stuff because I didn't want to have to lug all that around. But uh, some cold stuff I have that I'm bringing because I can't get it there, if that makes sense, and some of this kind of stuff. So I went ahead and got some hamburger dill chips. I got these I'm going to be making my cheeseburger sliders. I'll link that in the cards above. Um, we're going to be making myself, Vanessa from Lemonade Mom, and Kira from Fifty Shades of Mom. We are making a cookbook together. So on our trip, since we're getting together, we're going to be making a bunch of recipes. They're going to be cohesive, taking picture, pictures for the cookbook. So I'm so excited about that. Um, but I needed stuff for my recipes, and I'm hoping I'm not forgetting anything. So that's for the cheeseburger sliders. For my mom's famous crawfish dip, okay? I'm making that on the trip, and that's going on the in the cookbook. I haven't put it on foodie, so it, it's not in the foodie folder, so don't look for it. It will be coming in the cookbook. I love this stuff. Like, it's addicting. You can eat the whole bowl. It's ridiculous. So I got some Zatarain's shrimp and crab boil. You just need a dash of this for the recipe, so I just got a little bitty tiny four-ounce um, container, and I didn't think that they would have this necessarily in Gulf Shore, so I went ahead and picked one of those up because I didn't have any on hand. Then I got some Blue Plate Real Mayonnaise, guys. This is local here in Louisiana. I got this for the cheeseburger sliders and for whatever else we're eating that we need mayo. This is the best mayonnaise in life, and I wanted to share it with the girls. So I'm going to let them try it because I'm not sure if they have this in their area. So I got that because that's a local item. Then I'm going to be making um, strawberry shortcake. It is the bomb. It's the best strawberry shortcake ever. And I would know because I'm obsessed with strawberry everything. And I needed some cornstarch, and I didn't have any more. And this is non-GMO Clabber Girl, and it was like 67 cents. So I got a little small thing of that. To go along with the crawfish tails, I already have some stuff I bought from Brandless, like some pita chips and some different crackers and stuff that I'm bringing from Brandless, but I wanted to have extras because I didn't know how much we would need. So I got this townhouse pita Parmesan cheese and basil crackers. It says great with dip. I've never tried it before, but it looked delicious. So I put that in my cart. And then I always serve the crawfish dip with these Melba classic toasts. They used to make the rounds. They're really hard to find by Old London. They are the bomb. I love them. So I went ahead and got these toasts. That's all they had at my store. They didn't have the rounds. The rounds usually have to find at like a local grocery but I got that because I love that for the crawfish tails and speaking of crawfish tails I went ahead and got two pounds of the Bernard's brand crawfish tails and these are so expensive I mean the already peeled 
crawfish tails in our area are like between seven and twenty dollars a package so both of these together were almost 20 bucks it's ridiculous but that dip is the bomb and to die for so if you have crawfish in your area make sure you stay tuned for that cookbook because i love love that that dip so guys everything that you see here was 96 dollars with tax that did include my 10 dollars discount for y'all using that online grocery order link down below so if you've never used online grocery before if you click that link it will get you 10 dollars off of your purchase and it also kicks 10 bucks back to me so thank you so much to everyone that used that link remember i will have brand list down below if you need non-gmo gluten-free organic products for cheap definitely check that out too you get six dollars off your purchase and like I said, no meal plan, guys, but this is the grocery haul this week. I'm so excited about our beach trip. When you're watching this, we should be making all of our recipes today. Whoop, whoop, because today, Tuesday is our cooking day. So, so excited and definitely make sure that you have all my social media, Instagram, looking at the YouTube community tab through your subscription feed. Make sure the bells click because I'll be posting all kinds of stuff for the trip and we might be going live on the trip and you don't want to miss it. Thank you all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you love a good grocery haul and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already because I do a grocery haul every week here on the channel and a meal plan usually and I'd love to have you a part of the YouTube family. Y'all have an awesome Tuesday, an amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Video. Bye guys.